Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here. Hope everybody's fine today. We are in Book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 26. I'm going to read it to you. We're just talking about Cornelius being the first Gentile in the church, coming into the church. Uh, first Gentile to get the Holy Ghost, which that's what I mean, coming into the church, I mean getting the Holy Ghost and be fully saved. Uh, the Ethiopian eunuch believed, was baptized, but he did not receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. A lot of people like to uh, not see that, but it's true. But uh, Cornelius will make that final step. Because God has ordained that now is the time for Gentiles to come to the church. So everything is done in God's time. Um, verse 26, I'll read it. But Peter took him, saying, Stand up and let yourself, and I myself also am a man. Cornelius met him and fell to his feet, thinking he might be an, another angel. Uh, but Peter reminds him he's, he's not an angel, just a man. And that's a, that's a good thing for Peter. It's a good check mark on his uh, side. Uh, he's got still got some humility going on. Uh, but Peter's kind of reluctant here. Uh, he's kind of reluctant to uh, tread in this water. Even though he got this really great vision from God. You know, the, uh, Cornelius is so eager here. Cornelius' eagerness, you know, and the reluctance of Peter here in this part of Scripture are kind of set against each other in really sharp contrast. Peter received his vision about the ninth hour. It's about 3 p.m. And he dispatched his messengers, his people at once to go get Peter. He didn't know it was getting night. And um, Joppa from Caesarea, from what I can see, is about 30 miles. And so by noon the next day they got there, Cornelius set aside all concerns and for four days waited for Peter's arrival. And he was concerned enough to gather about him his, all his family and immediate friends. We see that in verse 24. Peter, in contrast, moved on only as he thought he must. You know, the initial delay until the day following can be justified. You know, the messenger for Cornelius needed rest, and Peter would need to get ready for the journey. But almost two days were required for the journey from Joppa to Caesarea. Whereas Cornelius was concerned to assemble others to hear the gospel, Peter was current, concerned to round up defense witnesses to protect his reputation. You know, he took six other brethren from Caesarea you know, to Caesarea and then later on to Jerusalem when he had to go before the church court. So, Peter here was really around the defensive, and Cornelius was an eager beaver, you know, wanting to get saved, wanted more of God. You know, Peter, it's kind of a mistake on Peter's fault. He should have been more bold here, but, uh, you know, Peter was always kind of a reserved, conservative guy his whole life. We see that in the Gospels, anyway. So he's just plodding along, being kind of defensive, but he's moving along, he's going forward. Not as fast as Cornelius wants to go, but, you know. Once Cornelius gets saved, though, you know, he goes his own speed. So, anyway, I just wanted to point out the contrast between Cornelius and Peter here in this uh, whole section of Scripture. Thank you.